Hello there and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial we are going to talk about the nonlinear static analysis for push harbor analysis. Okay. So and at the beginning I will just talk about the few steps and guidelines for about types of the analysis and uh, push harbor analysis consequently. I will start at its designing process in ETABS software shortly. Okay. The types of analysis. Okay. We have generally two types of analysis. Okay. One is static analysis method and another is another one is the dynamic analysis method. Okay. And again the static analysis are divided into two parts. One is the linear one is the linear static method or equivalent static analysis and another one is the nonlinear static method which is called pushover analysis which we will talk talk it shortly in etaps as well okay and another general method for ana analysis of the structure is the dynamic analysis method okay which is also divided into two parts one is the linear Dyna dynamic method or the response picture method okay and another one is nonlinear dynamic method or time history method which is frequently used for high-rise structure okay this time history method okay but in this tutorial we will talk about the nonlinear static method or called the pushover analysis as well okay so the pushover analysis which is also called the static nonlinear analysis okay the main purpose of pushover analysis is to evaluate the durability and capacity of the structure against demand or earthquake loads the main purpose of the pushover analysis is to evaluate the durability and capacity of the structure against demand or earthquake loads okay like we have few procedure to be fulfilled in pushover analysis one is the capacity curve we will just show you after the analysis what is the capacity curve and what is the demand curve okay demand curve will be from epic loads okay which is which are applying for uh, which is uh, from the lateral forces of the own structure whether it is earthquake or wind or blast and other uh, loads which are coming on the structure okay and and we will show you the performance point as well okay and look here for the force displacement curve like here at the point a there will be as the structure will exist and after that when coming when reaching to, to the point B here which is called the yielding point and after that there will be uh, like we can see the three stages what one will be in the immediate occupancy or IO okay and another one will be limit state okay and another and the third one will be the capacity prevention okay and and A is the original point of the structure okay and the point C when it's reached to the point C that is ultimate capacity or limit of the building okay and when it comes to the point after to the point D okay which is the strength limit in the structure okay so at this uh, like after this the limit of the structure start collapsing because the collapsing will be start okay so uh, like in this portion okay and after that we have a point which is the total failure or uh, like the hinge breakdown will start okay and the in the performance level the main outcomes of nonlinear pushover analysis in terms of the response demand, okay, were the earthquake loads versus capacity, and the intersection of capacity curves and demand curves is known as performance point, okay. So, the intersection point about the capacity curves, okay, this line is the capacity curve, okay, and about 
the demand curve. This is the demand curve and the intersection point, this point, is also known as the performance point, this point. This is the, inter uh, this is the intersection point about the capacity curves and demand curve, okay? In the intersection of demand curves and capacity curves near the elastic range represent that the structure has good resistance and capacity against earthquake loading, okay? Intersection of demand curve and capacity curve beyond the elastic range, okay? One will be like up to here, will be the elastic range and the nonlinear uh, like uh, the portions will start, okay? Beyond the elastic range, okay, when the elastic range finished with little reserve of strength and deformation capacity describe how the structure behave poorly during earthquake and retrofitting okay when the when, when the performance is poor so that retrofitting will be required to avoid future major damage or collapse okay like in this uh, figure also it is showing the force displacement okay relationships look here like this is the curve the capacity curves and the demand which is coming from earthquake loading is showing okay when this like in this condition the structure or the building is safe because the structures have good uh, the good capacity against earthquake loading or the demand okay but in this figure the demand is more as compared to the capacity of the structure so the structure will collapse so this figures or in, in in case of structure will be unsafe structure or unsafe design okay so we, we just design a structures which have good capacity against a quick loading or demand okay for the structure okay so in these three figures showing the relationship between forces and displacement about demand earthquake loading and about its capacity and this figure is showing the intersections or the performance point about the capacity lines and about uh, ab uh, about the demand okay for the structure like in the basic source of the nonlinearity we will talk about the geometric nonlinearity, which is also known as the effect of deformation, and another one will be the material nonlinearity. Like we have two types of nonlinearity one is the material nonlinearity, and another one will be the geometric nonlinearity. Okay? Okay, like coming to the geometric nonlinearities, okay, or the deformation effect, like we will consider the P delta effect battling effect and large displacement effect okay which which all these three are related to the geometric nonlinearity okay and in case of material nonlinearity we consider the cracking of the in, in concrete the crushing in concrete and yielding in steel and crypts and shrinkage which is the time dependent like how much load is applied and how much time interval okay and also here in this uh, in this diagram or figure it is showing the relationship between stress and stream okay like in this portions look to this groups okay this will be the proportional limit like uh, in the uh, uh, until here the elastic range uh, ranges exist okay so and the between the point a and b the elastic limits regions regions are there and after that okay when it reaches to the upper yielding point in the point C, okay, and after that it is reaching to the lower yielding point like here, the nonlinearity will start and here the strain hardening region exists and when it reaches the point A, which is the ultimate stress point, and after that it will again uh, the deformation will occur and till the time when it reaches to the breaking point or collapse point stage okay this is just short overview about stress and strain okay and also the p delta effect which is very important for uh, pushover analysis considerations point of view okay like 
the pedial type effect is also termed as geometric nonlinearity. The structure mass moves to deformed position in the nonlinear, nonlinear analysis of the structure system subjected to lateral displacement generates second order of a turning moment that are normally not accounted for starting and dynamic analysis. The second order behavior is also known as pedilta effect. Okay? So we just got the view that pedilta effect is also known as the second order of analysis for it is the second order behavior of the structure. Okay? So again we have two types of pedilta effect. One is the pedilta for small for larger delta. Okay? We just represent by p delta which is large p delta effect it refers to the effects of the vertical loads acting on the lateral displacement of the structures okay like when the load is applied on the structure okay the vertical load p so the p delta effect will be accursed due to vertical loads like look here p delta effect will be generated in these portions due to vertical loads okay and the small pedal tie effect refers to the effects of axial loads in an individual member subjected to a deflection curvature between the endpoint like it, it will be considered for every members like every structural elements of the structures for a structural members of the our structural members of the building okay so it will be considered individually for each member of the structures okay so like look here in this diagram the small delta effect will be created in these portions due to the axial loads okay so this was just the short overview about uh, the pushover analysis okay now we will just start it is designing and analysis process in ETABS shortly. I will go to the new model or just press Ctrl plus N. Okay. After that, I will use built in setting width. Okay. Using metric standard or okay or MKS. I will use this one this one MKS and still sections for will be American standard okay and code will be also this one latest version and ACI 389 routine okay Okay, now here I want to that number of uh, grid lines in x directions will be let us say 7 and in y directions that it will be 8. Okay, 7 and 8 okay and spacing uh, will be let's see it will be five meter and four uh, and six meter or four meter okay and the number of stories it will be seven stories okay or five stories and the typical story hat will be 3.3 meters and the bottom story height will be let's just say uh, okay 0.3 meter as well okay and after that I will click grid only and press ok it is calculating from section properties has been loading okay this is okay the plan view and 3d views now i will define the material okay look here i will just click modify 4000 psi and i will give us the same specifications as defined by a, a program okay 
after that I will just press OK and I will also define another properties ok 3000 psi I will add new property and United States and concrete ok customary now this time 3000 psi ok press ok I will do not change any specifications as determined by a program after that I will just click ok and I will delete this one ok now I will just look here I will first press ok and after that I will go again to the material properties ok this one is for rebars and ok this is also, this is also rebars but this is extra no need for this one I will use 4000 psi and 3000 psi for concrete and this one 60 ok I will modify this one ok I will just give another name as a rebar 60 ok this section will be rebar and I will give us the same specifications and uh, values as determined by a program ok after that I will press ok ok and and after that ok I have defined the materials ok now I will go to the section and I will define the beams in column sections ok I will delete first multiple sections which I don't want to give us this one ok now I will define new section ok this time is concrete rectangular and press concrete ok and I will give a name beam 45 by 45 ok and material will be 4000 psi and I will give a depth 450 mm and 450 mm ok and other modifiers will be like here will be for beams 0.35 and 0.35 as a moment of inertia about axis 3 and axis 2 ok and the reverse will be beams ok and reverse as I have defined previously rebar 60 and the clear cover at the top will be 40 mm and at the bottom will be 40 mm as well ok after that ok and press ok I have defined the beam section ok I will delete this one and now I will define the column section as well concrete rectangular and concrete I will give a name column it will be 50 by 50 ok and material will be 4000 psi and will be 500 mm ok and 500 mm ok and after that I will show modify and moment of inertia about axis 2 will be 0 0.7 and about axis 2 will be also 0 0.7 and press ok and this one will be column and the material for steel material for rebar will be rebar 60 and it will be rectangular size and the clear core will be 40 and this one ok in number of longitudinal bar will be 3 and 5 as determined by a program ok I will press ok and look here here is also showing it is uh, values ok and after that I will press ok ok now I have defined the beams in the column section successfully after that I will press ok now I will define the slab section ok slab and I will come here to the add new property I will give a name slab ok and material will be 
3000 psi concrete and modeling type, type will be shell film and the thickness will be let's see 170 mm okay and property uh, will be slab okay and after that okay and delete this one extra and uh, delete the plank one as well do not need and press ok ok now I have defined the materials uh, properties and uh, section uh, the frame sections uh, properties for beams and columns and I have defined the slab property as well ok so now I will just make a structures I will go here for defining the columns okay I will just go to here quick draw column and after that I will select property type will be column okay and remove this one and create the columns okay for one story but I want for all stories so I will select all stories okay and now I will just click here and these columns will be assigned or created for whole structure okay like here and for this one as well and and furthermore okay or I can drag so all the columns will be drawn look here all columns for the structure has been completed now I will just skip this one okay now I will come to the beams click this one and I will select the property type will be beam and I will just click here all stories if you want to draw the beams for a single story you will just click one story but I want all, through all stories so that I can prevent the time wastage and very quickly I can draw for whole structure ok look here these beams has been drawn for each and every story ok I will just click in one story ok in story 5 but for story 4, 3, 2 and first will be drawn and same as for another one ok or I can just select here and drag ok all the beams will be drawn here look all beams for all the stories has been drawn okay I just lift these few beams to understand you better to make you understand okay okay now I have drawn and made a columns and beams for one story but it has been applied for whole structure okay and now look here I will just go to the slab sections draw rectangular floor wall okay this is for wall and that one will be for slab look here I will just come here I will, I will select slab okay and this time I will just click here and will drag up to this point look the slabs has been drawn okay I will select this grid point and I will drag up to another grid point and I will leave the mouse okay select this good point and drag okay select another good point and just grab 
drag and lift lift it okay select the viewpoint and drag okay if you just click another one quick draw floor wall and now you can just click and the slabs will be applied for another stories as well but I will just click in a single portions of the slab okay otherwise if you want just click here and drag look all the slabs will be drawn for whole structure okay now I will just go to the base okay and I will select one story I will delete from this portions because it is it is the base of the structures and we do not need a slab here okay I will click delete slabs has been deleted from the base okay and I will select this this one and I will go here assign or assign and joint restraints and I will select this one okay or tick mark all these and after that apply and okay as a fixed support of the structure okay now I have applied beams columns and slab sections as well as the supports for the structure okay so i will go here and the function and response spectrum okay i will select the code american standard and i will add new function okay i will here give a name target response okay spectrum okay and the damping will be 5% okay user defined and here will be 1.15 and 0.5 okay so look here okay and after that I will click here Okay, this is X directions click user defined okay and press ok delete this one and I will ok again target response spectrum on Y direction ok the same specifications but 1.15 and 0.5 okay in the set class will be b and after that convert to user defined and okay after that okay 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 now i will define the load patterns okay earthquake x direction x directions and type will be seismic Okay, and the code will be American Society of Civil Engineering 716 and add new load. Okay, this time will be the x directions negative and the code will be seismic and the same uh, the same code. Okay, add and this time will be for y direction. Okay, the seismic type and the code will be the American code and add y directions okay the type will be seismic and the code will be american code okay 716 the same code and after that add okay and this time will be wind in x direction okay and the type will be wind okay the code will be american society of civil engineering okay and add and about y axis as well the same code and type okay and after that okay i will do some uh, correction okay 
here, uh, like for the load patterns as I have defined previously, okay, or before. I will show you to do these modifications, okay. I will uncheck others and I will just put X direction plus eccentricity, okay. And SS will be 1.15 and S1 will be 0.15, okay. The set class will be B and the response modification factor or R factor will be 7 and the upper strength factor will be 3 okay and others okay and will be program calculated the time period okay and after that okay the same I will do for X negative direction okay modify okay and I will just put here the X direction minus eccentricity okay and I will put these values as well okay and the response modification factor will be 7 and our percent factor will be 3 okay and okay the same I will do for y direction as well okay I will just select this one I will uncheck all these and I will select just this one y direction plus eccentricity I will put these values okay and the same as for y direction as well okay I will select y direction minus eccentricity and 1.15 and 0.5 and others okay here I will select R I will put values for R will be 7 and for our strength factor will be 3 and the deflection amplification factor will be 5.5 and occupancy importance factor will be 1 okay the same I will do for X direction okay here I will use uh, exposure from extent of diaphragm okay and I will put here the wind speed will be 100 okay and the exposure will be B okay okay and the other factors will be like wind pressure coefficient and others will be instead of user defined I will use program determined okay and I will select here the bottom story as a one story okay in the same I will do for y direction as well okay the principle will be 100 and the bottom story will be first one and the wind pressure coefficient will be calculated by program determined and I will press OK and press OK. OK, now I will define first the mass source. OK, I will go here and I will select the mass source. OK, I will add new mass source. I will give a name. OK, mass source. OK and I will select the special patterns and I will remove this other two and I will add dead load and 0.25 applied load ok and after that ok include the vertical mass as well and after that ok ok and I will delete this one as it is extra ok first I will just click OK and I will again go to the mass source OK and I will delete this one OK sorry I will select this one I will click mass source and I will delete another one which is the extra define OK mass source and delete this one OK now I will go to the load cases OK I will add new load case and will write here the push x in the load case type will be nonlinear static and the mass source will be mass source as I have defined and I will click add will be accelerations and x directions okay and will be fun and after that this one the load application will be this displacement control like I want to be to put here 300 millimeters and press 
OK and the monitor displacement will be story 5 OK and please press OK and show here I want to result C from the linearity starter case will be multiple state and state the final state OK OK and OK no need for this one and after that OK now I will just take a copy of this one of the load case and I will write here push Y and the same nonlinear static in mass source OK and but I will change here in Y direction and press OK and OK OK key one point uh, to consider look to the P delta effect and the low case load cases okay look here to the push x direction modify okay and here the geometric nonlinearity options okay the p delta effect should be considered to okay which is the geometric nonlinearity okay consideration okay I will select the p delta effect okay and okay and same as for push y as well okay geometric nonlinearity option p delta effect okay and press ok and ok now I will go to the load combination okay add new combo okay I will just add default design combo and I will press concrete frame and convert it to user uh, defined or user combination okay and I will add all this combo okay to the load combination and press ok okay so now I have uh, defined the load patterns, mass source, load cases, load combination and others okay now I will create hinges for beams, columns okay because it is a very important step in case of pushover analysis okay now I will assign and define the hinges for beams and columns okay select and object types as a beams okay select and all beams has been selected okay now I will assign go to assign and also the frame and hinge okay and the hinge type will be automatic okay at the relative uh, clear length will be zero and add okay and the code will be American Society of Civil Engineering okay the latest version and the table will be for concrete beams okay and the degree of freedom is M3 and the load case in combo will be push X okay after that okay again at the relative distance will be 1 and add okay the same code and the same table for beams okay and the degree of freedom will be m3 and the load case will be again push x okay and after that okay well, I have defined the beam hinge in case of push x okay now it is time for push y okay so the relative distance will be zero add okay the same code American code and the same table for beams and the degree of freedom will be in three but this time will be push y okay the same one add the same code American code and the table will be the same for beams and the push Y will be the combo load combo okay and after that okay okay so 
this tray is for push X and another tray is for push Y. After that, OK. Look here. The hinge for beams about push X and push Y concentrations will be assigned for this structure. OK. Yes, it is, has been completed. OK, now I will go to select and this time I will assign and create the hinge for beams okay for columns sorry column select column all columns has been selected okay I will go to assign column hinge okay zero add okay and the code will be American code okay the new version and the, the table will be for columns, concrete columns. Okay. And the degree of freedom, uh, freedom will be P in trim 3 and uh, this one will the load combinations and the gravity will be push X. Okay, this one will be also as a push X. Okay, and I will select the share demand at flex yielding will be program calculated. Okay, and I will do not change other points. After that, I will press OK. And for one, select. Okay, the same code in the same table. Okay, the same other selection as well after that ok this both are for push x and now I will do for push y ok the same American code the same table but this time for push y ok and program calculated ok again one ok add the same code and table okay the same degree of freedom and the this combo will be push y and okay after that okay the hints for columns are in progress and going to complete for whole structure yes look here assigning hinge properties for column look here the hinges for beams and columns of the structure has been completed successfully. Okay, look here, this is for columns. Okay, if you want to just look to the confirmation of the hinges, okay, you just go to defined. Okay, and after that, to put this section, frame section. Okay, define frame wall nonlinear hinge. Okay, and select this two. Look here, this these are for beams hinges and at the down portions these are for column hinges. Okay, if you want to modify also. You will see other information okay and for beam hinge as well okay this is the backbone curve for beams okay now I will apply the dead in live load okay so I will select the plan view and I will select all stories and select these all slabs okay I will select each and every slab portion one by one Okay, after that I will go to assign shell load and uniform. Okay, 
I will select here that and I will give a value of, of 1.44 kilogram force by meter square okay and I will apply okay and okay look here now I will get the previous selection okay and I will go for shell load again uniform this time live and will be load will be 1.53 kilogram force by meter squared after that apply and okay okay let's check here now look here the dead in live load has been applied okay for whole structure now I will select here the object types okay and floors select select all floors close and go to assign assign after that shell and diaphragm diaphragm and after that day one and apply okay the diaphragm has been applied for each and every floor okay so all the steps are completed I will go for run analysis okay I'll press this run analysis first I will save this model this structure okay and desktop here I will give a name okay okay analysis okay so the analysis will start automatically okay after saving Yes, the analysis has been completed. Okay, now just look to the start animation. Animation out uh, is going to start. Okay. the combo okay overload case about earthquake uh, x apply okay against y-axis okay this is for animation and a quick y direction okay start If you went to the combo, the combination will show a different shape as well. Okay, this is about the combinations. Okay, like look here, it is step one. By clicking this arrow, we just move to the second step, third step, fourth, fifth, sixth 
seventh, and etc. Okay, so now here I will go to the uh, to the shear force uh, two two. Okay, apply. Okay, okay. This is the shear force. And here, this is the moment in 3-3, three, three. okay, this is moment, okay, and you can just go for the load combination as well, and check the moment. Okay, so like you can get all the information after analysis, okay, about the structures if you want to go to the display, okay, and look here the story response plots, and here the maximum displacement, okay, about x axis at quick x, okay, it will show the result and about let quick y direction and also negative direction as well okay and about the drift it will show the result of the drift of the structures okay so if you want to just export this to the excel sheet you can just click here and click this one it will be automatically converted for uh, to Excel sheet and after that you can just draw it is deformed sheet drift and others okay by clicking this one it will be transferred to the Excel sheet okay so it is process is going on transfer to the Excel sheet you look here the Excel sheet has been opened okay so and as a result of a turning moment storage shear and others as well okay storage stiffness okay so now I want to go for display okay and I want to static Push over a curve. Okay, it will show the curve about these shears and displacement. Okay, about push Y as well. Okay, now here there are two ways to estimate the maximum deflection. Okay, or the displacement. One is the capacity spectrum method or called C, uh, CSM okay and the second one is displacement coefficient method which is also known as DCM method okay so the FEMA 440T is related to the capacity spectrum method or CSM method okay this one okay this is according to CSM method okay the spectrum acceleration the spectral accelerations and spectrum displacement okay look here you can just change here and if i want for accelerations in time okay it will show another graph and if you want to show for displacement in time as well okay and others okay and here is the code and another one this one american society of civil engineering 41 is according to the displacement coefficient method or DCM method okay so if you want to show the you look to the results about uh, hints you will just click this one okay and about a combination a combined story response plot as well look to this one this the displacement drift shear of returning okay so about y axis as well 
Oke, okay. sesuai. Oke, okay. this about sesuai. You, you you are able to look to the animation as well. Oke, okay. I will cancel this one. And just play with other information as well. Okay, and if you want to export some results to the Excel sheet, you are able to export each and every result to the Excel sheet. Okay, after that, I will go for uh, check this chart, this check, okay, for concrete members and others. Okay, so this concludes the push over or nonlinear static analysis of the structure. Thank you so much from your attention and, and thank you so much uh, for your attention and I hope this lecture will help you and please do not forget to subscribe this channel. Have a great time.